welcome to our today's lesson we are going to look at divisibility test and uh, to begin with we shall look at 2 and 3 uh, a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is uh, even that is to say it is 0 2 4 6 or 8 like in our example, you can see clearly the first example, the last digit is 0, to mean the number is divisible by 2. And the second number, the last digit is 8, also to mean the number is divisible by 2. That is, you check the last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Uh, 3, we know a number is divisible by 3. If the sum of the digit is a multiple of 3. So, like in our example that we have there, that is uh, 156, when you add 1 to 5 to 6, you get 12. And we know that uh, 12 is a multiple of uh, 3. The second uh, in the second uh, set of questions we have with four and five numbers four and five we know that a number is divisible by four if the last two digits are divisible by four like in our example there we have got the last two digits as 72 so if you take 72 and divide by four you will going to get 18 so since it perfectly divides into 72 then it means the number is divisible by uh, 4 the other one is 5 a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0 uh, this one is simply check the last digit like in examples there the first one the last digit is 5 and the second one last digit is 4. Therefore, all the two numbers are divisible by 5. Next, we have got 6 and 7. A number is divisible by 6 if a number is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by both 2 and 3. So the rule here is the number should be divisible by both 2 and 3. And remember we have got rules that we follow when we checking divisibility test of 2 and 3. For 2, we look at the last digit should be even. For 3, the sum of the digits should be a multiple of 3. So if you look in our example, the last digit there is 6, which is even, so it is divisible by 2. And if we look at the sum of the digits, that is 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12 and 12 is also a multiple of 12 is also a multiple of uh, 3 the next one is 7 and 7 okay let's check it out at the end of the lesson uh -huh. the next one is 8 and 9 a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. That is, in our example there, we have got the last three digits as 752. So 752, when you divide it by 8, you're going to get 94. And since it perfectly divides in 8, perfectly divides in 752, then that number is divisible by 8. The next one is uh, 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the last, if the sum of the digits uh, is a multiple of 9. If the sum of the digits is a multiple of 9. That is to say, if you add the numbers, you get a number that is divisible by 9 or a multiple of 9. That is like in our example, if you add 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, 
plus 5, you get 27. And 27 is a multiple of 5. And 27 is a multiple of uh, 9. And the next one is 10 and 11. A number uh, is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. That is, uh, like in our example there, the last digit is 0, therefore the number is divisible by 10, just as simple as that. Um, the last number we are looking at is 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the alternate digit is 0 or a multiple of 11. So we have been told the sum, you get the sum of the alternate numbers and the difference should be 0 or 11 or a multiple of 11. So if you look at our examples, the first one and the second one, if you look at the first one, the alternate numbers are 6 and 4, if you add you get 10 and the other one is 2 and 8, if you add you get 10. Therefore the difference between 10 and 10 is 0, so the number is divisible by 11. The other one, the alternate numbers are 1, 8 and 7, if you add you get 16. And the other alternate numbers are 3, 2 and 0, if you add you get 5. So if you find the difference you get 11. Therefore also this is still divisible by 11. Um, that marks the end, although I had made a promise, I'll take you through divisibility of 7. Let's see if you'll get it. Uh, here we go, 7. Uh, a number is divisible by 7 by taking the last digit of the number. Then double it and subtract the doubled number. Subtract the doubled number from the remaining number. The result should be divisible by 7. And this procedure may be repeated several times. If we look at an example that we have, that is 3976-3976, is it divisible by 7? Let's see. Let's go through the steps. The first step says remove the last digit. So our last digit is 6. If we remove it and double it, we get 12. The remaining number is 397. Then subtract 12 from 397 you'll get 385 mm, is 385 divisible by 7 at a glance not very easy to know so what do we do we repeat the same procedure using the answer we have got so 385 what do we do we remove the last digit which is 5 double it get 10 what answer did we remain with? 38. 38 subtract 10. What do we get? 28. Ah. Is 28 divisible by 7 at a glance? Yeah. 27, 28. If you divide it by 7, we we'll get 4. That means 3,976 is divisible by 7. Got it? Hey, you can try with various numbers to see if you have understood. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so by just clicking the red button there.